out of oven cleaner. I just need it for a few more spots on that cabinet. And in my experience, when I spray a little spot, you can't just spray the spot. You have to spray the whole area or it'll leave like a little spot on the cabinet. So I'll probably spray it on the whole side. I did something to the tree base thing last night. Well, the coffee table base. And I really like it. I put white wax on it, the Miss Mustard Seed white wax. And then I covered it with uh, glaze. And I probably didn't leave the white wax on long Enough to like cure and dry because let me show you what it did but I like it I think it looks cool so these spots right here I think it's because that's what the whole thing would look like if there wasn't white wax underneath it but I really like how it turned out <laughs> Chester's doing good come here some of you were asking he just he just can't see we're gonna keep checking it out but this is what the tree looks like in the stand and I left all the shedding down there so you could see kind of how much it sheds. I love the size of these and they don't even need decorated. They're just so pretty that the, the way that they are. And the reason why I got these is because I loved that one. And then this is the one that I found at the antique mall. It does not have those other kind of branches in it. It just has the, gosh, I can't remember what they call those now. Twig, twig branches or something. Um, and this one, that I found at the antique mall so well. And the difference is in these trees. So this one sheds a little more than the other one, but it's easy to sweep up. And then this one has these kind of branches along with these. The lights change, they like flicker and do different things, but I love the other one just as much. It looks just like this one, except those couple things are different. This is where I put my jingle bells. And the one I was showing last night in the basket is the same one as this, that when Chester was looking at the tree, I, I think he can still see a little, it's not, he's not completely blind and maybe light makes a difference. I have a tablescape that I just finished putting together for JCPenney. I'm partnering with them and these are very cute Christmas dishes. I am very impressed by JCPenney Christmas stuff. They have some really cool things, hammered look kind of on it. And then this. I just got these, these are mercury glass candle holders. Got some trees. They are adorable with the little berries. They have white berries, red berries, green around the rim. And this table runner that I found at JCPenney goes perfectly with the dishes. I love this goldware. I've showed you this before. It has like a, I love these little trees. They have really nice branches. They're pre-lit and they come in these little containers. I'm actually going to put mine in this basket. I threw, threw my lamps over there so I could put it up here and show you. And then I have one over there too. To see if they had any old Christmas sheet music books and I found one. So that's what all of my, I guess you would call them placemats, are made of. Torn out sheets of Christmas music. I love it. Like I said, I found so many cute things for Christmas at JCPenney. Things that I would have never imagined that they had until I went looking. Not just tablescape ideas, but lots of other things. And I specifically went to a thrift store for this JCPenney tablescape to I love this sheet. It's $195. It must be worth something. A rare Christmas card. It's cute. <laughs> oh, I want this. It's got like, what is that brass? I don't even know. It's so cool. This is like the Cadillac of old high chairs. It even says convertible. <laughs> It's so cool. They know what they're doing. It's so pretty. Here's a view. Next week. Are they going to mark it down? I that radio. Accordions. Reminds me of my grandma. She used to play the accordion.
so pretty. Look how much prettier that raw wood is. Okay, so I'm just applying this easy off on the table. You can see I've already started sanding up here and I love the color, so I'm super excited. But from what I've seen, I've, uh, Natalie over at the Vintage Porch is who I saw this first. If you're not following her, she's... She ain't trying.